Hi, I'm Tim. All right, friends, it's eye rolling season, or as they usually call it, an election year. Here's a short list of things that I roll my eyes at. Let's see if your list matches mine. First of all, there are the debates. As far as I am concerned, debates are probably the most useless parts of an election, except for the ads, the speeches, and possibly the voting. I was excited when the modern era of debate started, back around the Ford Carter election. I've since decided I no longer care. Political debates have come to, into a great deal of criticism, but I have a point that I've never heard anyone else use. I think people watch debates for the same reason they watch football or baseball, to see if their side wins. If it does, fine. If it doesn't win, well, it's still their team. Generally, a debater has to make a really big mistake to change that, and I'm not going to sit around waiting for it to happen. Speeches. Bleh! I don't even listen to speeches by politicians I like. Why should I? The politicians I don't like are all liars. As for the politicians I do like, well, they may have the best of intentions, but they can't always do what they promise. Time and circumstances get the best of all of us. What matters is what people do, not what they say. Ads. Oh, please. It's illegal to lie in an ad, unless it's a political ad. The courts have ruled that if you have a product or service to sell, it's illegal to lie in your ads. But if you have a political message, you can lie all you want. Lord help us if someone figures out how to sell a political product or service. You should never trust the word vote in an ad. As in, uh, for instance, Congressman Numskull voted 20 times to outlaw peanut brittle. That's an awful lot of times to vote against peanut brittle or anything else for that matter. What the ads don't mention is that most of these are procedural votes, which are any votes other than the final vote on a bill. You can vote to debate the bill, vote to not debate the bill, vote to take a vote on the bill, or vote to not take a vote on the bill. You can vote no on all these procedures and still vote in favor of the bill. Imagine that. You have to wonder You have to wonder if it's worth all the ill will. Is it worth tearing to shreds the social fabric just to rule over the ruins? Apparently, some people think so. One thing that doesn't bother me, and it seems to bother everyone else, is how early elections start. Some complain the presidential election starts as much as two years before the election date. That's actually been going on for a long time. It's nothing new at all. Not long ago, I decided to look through some old newspapers, particularly from 1948. In January, the Minneapolis Tribune seemed to predict the candidates for president, the incumbent Harry Truman, the challenger Thomas Dewey, and a potential third party spoiler, Henry Wallace, or Harry Wallace. Henry Wallace, yeah. They had already been campaigning for months, albeit in a manner that was low-key compared to modern campaigns. If you were looking for a surprise, you'd have to wait 11 months and some days, when, contrary to the predictions of many, Truman won. No, elections don't take longer. They're noisier, so they seem longer. A lot longer. Maybe that's the problem. I just don't like noise.